Nate the Great and the Hungry Book Club. Chapter 1 Turn with Ronit. My name is Nate the Great. I am a detective. My dog Serge is a detective too. Ouch! Right now, I am a mumbling, bumbling, tripping detective. I have a just just a trip over a big pile of food that Rosamond left in my house. Sarge is sniffing them. He hasn't been sniffing them. Then, said Rosamond knocked on my door this morning. She was carrying a bunch of books. Three more were piled off her head. Rosamond looked very strange. Rosamond looked strange all the time. I have a great news, she said. I have started a book club. I am calling on Rosamond ready readers. But there is trouble in the club. One of the members in is trying to rig my cookbook. Look! Rosamond took a book off of her head. The other two books fell off. Why are you carrying both on top of your head? I asked, because I'm present, president of a club now. This book helped me hold my head high and look like a president. I, Nate knew that I was looking at a very strange prison. This is, this is my new cookbook, she said. Yesterday, I left it in a, on on my kitchen table after I made a treat for the club meeting. When the meeting was over, I went to get the treat for the member. The page that was open was torn with running. Serge and I look at the page. I need to say that it was torn with running. Chapter 2 the cream, cream is sense. Rosamond pulled something out of her pocket. Here is a powder of the crime, crime sense, she said. I, I look at the powder. I photo. Your kitchen was a cream sense. Of course, keep this photo and this study in in your canyon can see that my cookbook is in the middle of my head huge high table the torn paper page 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 has a red recipe for a tuna fish pie the bite on the piece of piece that pie that fell on the page our gun too I want to use to, to find the evil monster. Who did this? Monster? Yes, the evil page monster. Rosamond said. Now, here is my plan. The next meeting will be at my house. This afternoon, you and the Sarge can come on undercover. Just pre pretend you are a new member. I'll be using this cookbook again. Meanwhile, I'll, I'll leave these other books here, where they, they'll they be safe. I left one book at home. The member, the member will, be, will be reading it at today, uh, today's meeting. Rosamond piled her book on my floor. You are unlucky to have this case. I, Nidori, did not agree. Perhaps this is a case for a bookworm, I said. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy being in a book farm, Rosamond said. I look at Sarge. We both knew that if I didn't take the case, Rosamond would come back. And back and back and back. Chapter 3 A Bookcase. I wrote a note to my mother. Chapter 4 The Hungry Book Club. It was afternoon. So then I went to Rosamond's house. She answered the door. 
She had only one book on her head. I peered inside her house. I saw over Pip, Philly, Claude, Esmeralda, Annie, and Annie's little brother Harry, sitting in a circle. Also sitting in the circle were Annie's dog Fang and Rosamond for cat, playing next to little hats, big cat, and super hats. I stand back. The hat and the fang belong to your book club. Sure, Rosamond said. Everybody loves stories and treats. I see, serve tuna fish pie to the to the cat and meat meat the patties to fang. Everybody else get cookies. This is a very hungry book club. Come in. I, Dory, am not in the mood. For cookies or sauerkraut, I said. Sarge, Sarge and I will sit in the corner. Chapter five: Meet Harvard Hatchel. Rosamond sat down in a big chair. She took the book of her head. She held it, uh, held it up. This is our book for today, she announced. Harvard Hatchel. We will take a turn reading it out loud. Then we will take about the book. I will start. Howard Hatcher was always late. He always, always at parties, just in time to bump into everything, everyone leaving. He nibbled left over, left over. Cake crumbs and lots of melt melted ice cream. Then he sat in a corner and exclaimed, "Wonderful party!" To the empty room, I, Dory, was sitting in a corner like a hairy hedgehog. I pretended to go to sleep, but I had watching, watching. The book went from member to member. Nobody was tearing page in. It was Esmeralda turn to read. When Harper had Harper went to the movies, he always got got there when the movie was over, as everyone was going out. Harper was going it. He would sit down on the stale popcorn and look at, <coughs> look up at the big empty screen. Great show! He exclaimed. To no one, the hover means means to be a time, but he never was. Suddenly, Esmeralda stopped reading. <coughs> She looked puzzled. A page is missing. She said, "Rosamond, look it straight at me. I read the pages of one book, and now a missing page from another. When I bought this book, there were no pages missing. I knew because I read the inter, inter, entire, entire book before I bought it. I need the great to look at the such." I know we had we had a real case. <coughs> Chapter C. Dumbo trouble. Rosamond raised her head. Rosamond raised her arm. A pretend pretend of Rosamond, reader reader. I will not let this stop on our club. Club meeting. Member who would like to tell me what you think of the book so so far? Esmeralda raised her hand. Hand. At first, I thought that Harper needed a watch, but now I know I know he needs a page. Claude raised his head. Claude was always losing things. I don't like the. Book because Harper doesn't lose anything," he said. "If you never losing anything, 
You never have a chance to find what you didn't lose. It's clean. It's clean. Dot. Rosamond said. Oliver spoke up. I follow people. Everyone knows I do. Harper doesn't follow anybody. Harper is a very boring hedgehog. Thank you for sharing that with us. Rosamond said. Me, me, me. Harry was jumping up and down. I like the book. I like the picture of Harper smiling in front of the big clock. The best. Rosamond smiled. Well, we have a we have a nice happy Harper and a happy Harry, she said. I am proud of all my members, except for one. Read a page and. Took a page. I think the way was thinking. Who would read a page of the cookbook and that a page of a Harvard Hedgehog? Someone who liked the books or someone who did like this this like the books or someone who could decide. Or and where was the missing page? I would like to see the book. I said. Rosamond hurried, handed it to me. I see that the missing page would have been number fifteen on the one side, on the six, six, sixteen, on the other. Other, I said. Number crumber, Rosamond said. You have found bumbling mystery. Just solve it. Chapter seven, the evil page monster. Rosamond stood up. Now it's time to. Now it's time for a treat, she said. The animal, animals are getting a rest. Sudden I fall. The animal are getting a rest. Sergeant, I followed Rosamond to the kitchen. I was a mess, but Sergeant sniffed and sniffed. He liked this case, but because it it smelled good, I saw a cookbook on the table. This time, the book was open to a recipe to meat patties. There were bites of of meat on the on the page. Rosamond must have been using the cookbook today to make the make her trees. This page had no rib. Hmm. Fang and the house walk walk in. Fang sniffed the table. He started to jump up and reach for the cookbook. Stop! Rosamond yelled, "You fang are the evil page monster." I pretend pretend Rosamond have solved this case. Fang must have sneaked in during during yesterday meeting, eaten eaten the bite of food and the recipe, the page and and now I will stop it him from doing it again. Rosamond folded her arm, and look at me. Time to find the missing page, she said. I, Nidori, had two choices. I could search for a missing page, or I could go home and eat eat pancake and then. Chapter eight. Chapter eight. Sniff. I ate my pancake while Sarge ate the bone. Then Sarge walked around the room. He was looking for something, and he found it. It was the photo the Rosamond had left there. Here he sniffed it and sniffed it and sniffed it. Was he trying to tell me something? Was the recipe 
I repaired the page case really slow. Did Fan really do it? I look at the photo again. The page in the cookbook had no food on it. On it. The page I had seen on Rosalind House had a tiny bite on the meat on it. The recipe in the photo was for tuna fish pie. The recipe at her house was for meat pa- patties. One recipe for cat, one recipe for dog. Good work, Sarge! I said. Chapter nine. Not so fast. I call Rosamond. I am coming back to your house. I said, and I need Annie and Fan to be there. I put the photo on the tuna fish pie page in my pocket. Sarge and I rushed to Rosamond's house. Rosamond was waiting for us at the door. Your refrigerator rip- case is not full, I said. That foggy thing did it, Rosamond said. And and here it comes down the street with Annie. We must all go into the kitchen, I said. Rosamond, Annie, Fang, Sarge, and I went into the kitchen. The cookbook was still open on the table. Hmm, hmm, Rosamond said. We already knew that Fang ripped the page yesterday. Wait, I said. Fang jumped up and put his front paws on the table. He opened his jaws. He t- stretched, but he could reach the poop cookbook. This table is too high and and be for Fang. I said, "Poor Fang," and he said, "He's big and smart, but he isn't that stretchy." I need to agree. Already knew that Fang would have grabbed a、uh, the bit of meat during the meeting. If he could have reached that, Rosamond said, "Okay, so Fang couldn't have ripped the page yesterday." Correct, I said. Also, he doesn't like tuna fish pie. I pulled the cookbook photo on. Out of my pocket, this photo shows the cookbook open to a tuna fish pie recipe. But the open page will have no bites on all of tuna fish, tuna fish on them. I already knew that, Rosamond said. I. Need to read. Say that someone the recipe for those. Tuna fish bite, and、uh, I was rich, stretching and tearing to get every every last bite. Who?、Oh, Rosamond asked. Little Hex, I said. He can live high. Also, he can hide the small space. He, he is. So small that he couldn't have gone into the kitchen on the, and come back without you seeing him. Rosamond clapped her hand. Little Hans is grow, growing up, my darling little page monster. I need to say that the red page case is solved, and you should try to keep your kid kittens neater. Clean, cool, or better. I took two bundles from my pocket and gave one to Fang and one to Sarge. Rosamond kept clapping. Little Hansa must have taken the rubber hedgehog, hedgehog pig too. Was a tail and he has? No, not so fast. I said. You are trying to re- reuse our clue. Little Hans might not have taken the page. Tell me everything about your hatchet hatchet book, 
Well, yesterday Annie and I went to the book sale of at the school around the corner. I bought a book book there. I read it before I thought I bought it. There were there were any missing pages after I bought it, but I bought the pa- books. I I keep it with me in my hand on my head. I even sabel with it. Is there any? Is there any? Is there anything else I should know? I asked. No, I'm a priest and I think of everything. Then I must leave. I said, leave. But you just come. Came. That's how it is in the detective bonus. I said, we go, we go, we go. Where the clues take us. I need three. Knew that I need more clues. If the boss was with Rosamond all the time, how could the pages missing? Chapter ten. Stretchy Fang. Annie Fang searched, and I left the Rosamond house. I am looking for a new clue. I said to Annie, "A missing page clue, clue." I don't have any clue, Annie said. But I want you to know that Fang can't be stretchy some of the time. You should have seen him at the gold bot book sale. What I what I said. He was he was a, he was there. I bought him along when I went it went with Rosamond, and he said, "Tell me, is is that clearly who?" How fun was Dredge there? I said. Well, he went to the use use the books table. A lady there told us that that some books books might have a first train train lost bindings or faded pages. Rosam Rosamond began picking out the books, the reading them. If she liked a book, she 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 liked a book. She put it in a pile on the table. Suddenly, Fang put his paw on the table and started to sniff a book. There were strained strained on on it that. Looking like a chicken noodle noodle soup, Fan licked the food. Then he poured the top through I draw through marbles and the naked page, but but all the food fell to the floor. Fan was a really scratchy. A stretchy. It was kind. His kind of table. Then what happened? I pick up the purse that Fang Fang had licked, and I bought them. The Rosamond Pie had to- toppled over, but but the uh scooped up her purse her- from the table. And the floor and the bottom. We both went home with full bags, signed the bag and licked and licked the the balls. I put them all in my doggy house. Thank you for the information. I said. I turned it to Sud. You and I, I are going to school. Chapter Eleven. School clues. Such and I rushed to the school. School. The book sale was in the gym. 
A lady walked up to us. I knew the was a librarian because she had a badge on her shirt that said "librarian." Something, sometimes being a detective is easy. Hello, I said. I am looking for Herbert Hatcher. You're in luck. You're in luck. The librarian said. With a so. We sold two, two copies of Harvard, but we still have one left. And here's he, he is on the table. Do you have the pages fifteen and sixteen? I said. I asked. Yes, the pages are in good shape, clean and with a strong binding. No chicken noodle soup, I said. What? I was just thinking. I'm a detective. I think a lot. I think I will buy buy this book. I bought that book and taken the library. Then the Sarge and I went home. Chapter twelve. Twelve. The hover, hover hog, hover the. Hedgehog picture. I sat down in my favorite chair. I open open my favorite Howard the Hedgehog book. I turn it to page fifteen. There was a picture of a Howard getting his photo taken in front of a big clock. He looked proud and he was smiling. But. Why would anyone taking that page? I, Nadori, say that there must be far be better things in this world to watch than a hover, a hedgehog poising, poising for the his folder. And then I remembered something to what I had just seen. In the book was not new. News to me. I had already heard about it. I, Nadori, was about to solve this case. Chapter thirteen. Reading together. I had two clues. School clues. I was told that the pages in my book were in good shape, clean, strong binding. Annie, Annie was told that some books had a. Those binding, hmm, page bindings. I need to say that I was a binder, binder put. I could co chose a lot of those page, and a lot page, those page could become a missing page. There had been the three copies of the Harvard Hatchel book at the user's book table. Rosam had picked a good copy, but when her pile fell down, she must have grabbed the copy that had the missing page. She didn't know it. Any must have bought the. Good copy that Rosamond had picked up, and she didn't know it. And how did I, Nadori, know it? Because I how I know remember where I had heard about Harper had chalk smile in the front of a big clock from Harry at the book club meeting, but. How could Harry have known what was on the page fifteen signed in was missing? Because he had seen the book at home. Harry must have been looking a fan's book, and he was he saw the Harvard Hatchel picture. I turned to search. I must give this book to Rosamond and tell. Tell her, but that the case is solved. I must also tell Annie to feed Pan Fang plenty of chicken noodle food. But there is.
is something else I want to do first. I need to agree. Picking up every book that Rosamund had brought over and carefully put them on a shelf. Just where, where they should be, I said. Then I took my Harper Hatchock book and sat down in my chair. I am going to read this book as a reader and not as a detective, I said. Let's read it together. So she jumped on, on, up on my lap and I need to read, read and read until I reached the end.